Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. What up, though? Heist man, the foe talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. Man, we got to talk about it, man. We got to talk about it. We got to talk about this score and market situation that's going on right now. First of all, I'd like to say, if you ask me, my um, Mount Rushmore comedians of all time, I'm going to tell you, flat out, it's Corey Holcomb, Carlos Miller, Patrice O'Neill, Paul Mooney, them are the greats. You understand? I love their comedian style. They hard, they vicious, they raw, they rough, all that shit. Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. But I got to call out Corey, man, for this situation right here, this market situation. You got to learn how to take a joke, bro. Flat out, period, point blank. You can't be, you, you can't be roasting that man every chance you get. And then get all sensitive. That's what you is, man. You being sensitive right now, Corey. Come on, man. Let's keep it 100. I don't know if y'all know, man, but Corey, he broke his arm some type of way. I think it was on the scooter. I ain't up on the 5150 show like I used to be, man. It, ain't, it just ain't the same no more, you know? It seems like he always attacking somebody or something or something. He got a beef every week or something. I just want to hear some jokes, man, some laughter. Um, You know what I mean? But he broke his arms. So this nigga, Marcus... He roasted him, man. He came out with a video and, yo, Marcus, he ain't the funniest guy to me, but this was the funniest work I ever seen Marcus do right here when he's talking about Corey. Shit was f hilarious. It was funny. I loved it. I think the nigga said, um, you talk about gay people, now you got two broke arms like him. Hilarious, man. He was killing it. I think he said, like, you broke your arm on the, trying to open up the cheesecake factory door. <laughs> Something like, he, he was killing him. Straight flamed him. Corey got mad and went back on his show, man. It was like, yo, talking about you live with your mom and all that stuff. Just, just, you know, being personal with it, man, over some jokes. And the jokes wasn't even that bad, you know? It was good. It wasn't meticulous. Or, no, it was meticulous. It wasn't malicious. It wasn't, you know, he wasn't trying to come at him in no certain type of way. He was using jokes. And Corey, being a comedian, can't take the joke. It's like, come on, man. Every day on your platform, you have markers on there. You talk about the boy bald head, his his speech, his his underarms or his sweatness, you know, his his water arms and all that stuff. It's all good and fun. Then you go back and this man make a he did the same thing. He made some jokes about you just because y'all ain't rocking with each other right now. Like he ain't been on the show like that. I don't know. I guess you you know you sensitive. Um, he was talking about it. On his show, you know, you know, Marcus, his show, when it came on, Black Ryan, he called in, you know, it was like, not trying to be the voice of reason, but being like, being a real nigga about it, like, yo, Corey, calm the fuck down, man, niggas can joke, he ain't doing nothing like that, man, like, you know, he chimed in, that's the man's situation, <clears throat> but he chimed in, on. he got an opinion, everybody got an opinion about the shit, that's what I'm doing right now, I'm giving y'all my opinion on it, and, um, so that was pretty cool what Black Ryan did, but, then Craig jumped out the window, coming to be super save a hoe. I think this nigga working on a movie or something. This security guard outfit this nigga got on or something. But he couldn't be Captain save a hoe. Talk, I don't know, man. Just some things he was saying in the situation. He making the video like, ain't nobody going to touch big homie or nothing like that. Like, you making it to something that ain't. Ain't nobody said nothing about nobody touching nobody calling people um the, the lions and hyenas and all that i don't, I don't know the shit y'all talking about man but Corey, he don't want to go to the comedy club or the comedy store because fear niggas gonna jump on him and attack him like get roasted nigga you talk all your shit to everybody else man it's your turn it's your time in the barrel in the, in the fire get flamed nigga get flamed up i just ain't like that when craig came out of nowhere like but you said you ain't gonna interject into it but you into it calling out black ron for jumping into it and black ron was just trying to like tell my tell my man's markers like look yo it's all right man you can joke that nigga if you want to it's jokes they comedians like how's comedians getting mad at comedians for laughing at each other especially with it ain't malicious Corey, this man he hurt right now like Craig said something like, you can't understand because that nigga in pain, he he almost died. He felt a certain way. But, man, niggas die every day, B. Niggas get shot every day, man. Shit happened. For you to come out there and just, like, I don't know, man. I ain't, I ain't understand that with Corey, man. Like, damn, bro. You, you were saying something like, niggas just want to 
attack you, really get their shit off. Who was saying that? Craig or, or Black Rock? Somebody was saying in, in, in the situation, because it's been going on between like five or six videos. He come out with a video, he come out with a video, he come out. Everybody capitalizing off this shit, just like I'm trying to do right now, man. So hit that like button, comment button, share button, subscribe button, all that good shit to get this pimp that I'm putting out right here. But I'm saying, there's so many videos, people saying some shit like they want to attack you while you're down and all that stuff. And it's like, come on, man. A hyena situation, a king, a lion, and all this stuff. Man, y'all relax, man. Take a joke, Corey. You gotta learn how to take a joke, man. Um, it's just, it's, it's to be real, man. The shit getting old, man. With you getting into it with people, man. It kind of push a lot of people away from the damn the content you making. Yeah, it's like every week, like, like I think Black Ron was saying. I'm, I'm just bumbling, going back and forth and left to right. So many thoughts in my mind. But Black Ron said something like. You got into it with him. You got into it with him. You bringing up this nigga. You bringing up that nigga. Uh, the Ryan situation. The precise. Everybody is always a situation with Corey, man. With somebody. And that's my favorite. It's blasphemy. For me to be talking about this nigga like this, man. But somebody got to keep it real. Because everybody ain't going to keep it real. You going to get that. What's that? Gooch the Great. That motherfucker going to side with him just because he fuck with him like that. Or then donate millions of dollars to that nigga, basically. What's a uh, nigga? Yuck Mouth probably gonna say has something to say. I ain't never seen Yuck Mouth do a video without court name in it. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm just throwing shots. But I'm saying it be niggas like that, man, to be scared to tell that nigga he wrong. Corey, you wrong on this one, bro. Just cause that nigga made some jokes about you, man. You ain't gotta get that. You ain't gotta act like that, man. Um, was one of them saying something like they they wait for you to be hurt so they can they can, when they roast you so they can get you for real and say what they really want to say and that's what Corey be doing man that's what he did it's like that nigga made a joke now you want to be, take it personal talk about the nigga living with his mama and shit like that I ain't know the nigga live with his mama but if you did you ain't supposed to tell nobody like why you gonna bring that up you got nigga joking you about your wrist being broke he ain't joking you about your lifestyle you're making it personal man and that's when it started getting like, ah and I ain't even no Marcus fan I ain't no fan of that nigga I don't watch his show, the mainstream. I mean, I might check it out. I don't, you know, I don't know the shit. I know him and his mom and his cousin be wearing suits here, hot as hell in the house, making movies, making videos, whatever. I don't really watch that shit. Um, Marcus, he funny on the 5150 show when he up there and shit when I see him up there. But I ain't a fan of that nigga like that. And for that nigga made that damn roast, I seen that shit. I was dying laughing, man. That was some funny shit that he made about the boy. If a Cordy get bad, I don't think he should have got bad for that, yo. I think he should have just let that shit rock, man. Talk about kicking niggas while they down, like I don't know, man. I don't, I don't think it's that way, man. I just think everybody need to um, mind their fucking business. Maybe not me, cause I need the shit for content also. Ah, yeah, I, I covered everything, man. That's all I want to say about it, man. Y'all tell me in the comment section how y'all feel. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this. I know y'all ain't... A lot of y'all gonna be scared to say this nigga wrong. Y'all be scared to say, that nigga Corey wrong, man. He wrong for that shit. He wrong. I say it, man. He wrong, bro. Let that nigga live, man. This is... The funniest I've ever seen that nigga was, like I said, talking about you in this little situation right here. And, um... I don't know, man. It was jealousy. I, I always see it, man. It's like, you... I don't know. Craig lasted a long time, too. If you wanna think about it. Zoe, he lasted the longest. D, she been there forever. But I'm saying, like, out of the motherfuckers be coming and going and shit like that, Craig lasted the longest, man, because I don't know what he got going on, man. But mm, It's just crazy, man. And them niggas ain't fell out yet. Everybody waiting on the two. Praying for their downfall. I think it's going to happen. I don't know when, but it's definitely going to happen because that nigga habitual, man. And this ain't even no damn Corey smear campaign. I'm just being real, man. I'm just seeing the shit. And as a fan of the nigga, I'm looking like, damn, bro, another one. Another. You fight with this nigga now? You fight with this nigga too? God damn, every week. It's like, I get tired of that, man. I turn that shit on to see some funny shit. Either attacking somebody or accusing somebody of being gay. Fighting somebody, fighting somebody. It was like, damn. Then you see people that come up on the show throughout the years, man, who 
surpassed him. Or not in the or like I thought who would have Corey would have been in a better place than what he is. He remind me of um Dr. Umar. Dr. Umar Johnson. When Dr. Umar was coming out with that school, I was sitting back looking like why ain't nobody paying for this nigga school? Ain't nobody helping this nigga. Why this? He keeps shooting himself in the foot, talking shit about the wrong people. I'm talking shit. People don't want to hear that shit. And I'm seeing Corey like, damn, bro. I remember seeing niggas come up there, was lower tier than him, then surpassed him. For his, like, they ventures, how they getting money and, and like, god damn, I seen, who was it? I seen Carlos Miller. The first time I ever seen Carlos Miller was on Corey Holcomb show. A long time ago, probably shit, ten years ago, before he was like right when he was just start first got on wilding out. Next thing you know, this nigga the eighty five show South Show then took off Netflix shit. Like I seen all that BET, I seen them on, and um, but I ain't seen Corey do none of that shit. Yeah, like where your Netflix special at, nigga? I don't know, man. This might come off as hate, but it ain't, man. It's just like damn, man. You just gotta be real with yourself. That's what I want that nigga to do, man. It's fucked up, though. That, that nigga, it's like the, it's like watching your your, your homie crash out. And just like, damn, bro, nigga falling off, you're falling off, man. And everybody always say that nigga falling off. I be like, damn, man, that nigga kind of falling off, bro. Kind of falling off, man. He doing he doing lame shit. He doing whack shit, yeah. Like, damn, bro, quit doing whack shit, Corey. Damn, nigga, quit doing that whack ass shit. Damn. Anyway, man, I go live on the channel every Friday night at 9 p.m. Talking about shit just like this, man. Yeah, I got to come through and holler at me. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. Like I said, I go live on Friday nights, man. Come through, join the conversation. Tell me how you feel about this, man, in the comment section right now. Tell me, am I a hater? Am I lying? I don't think so. But tell me, man, y'all be real with yourself for one time, man. Cause um, usually when I do these videos about Corey Hulkman, he get about five hundred to a thousand, and everybody be on his side, which is I usually be on his side. They be like, "Hell yeah, man, fuck this shit, yeah, 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 yeah. so wrong. Get that man this money, so." I probably got about five or six videos about Corey on this channel. I got a whole bunch of other shit, man. Y'all can check that out too, man. Go through the playlist, check out the music, check out the. Something anyway, I'm trying to make this video a little bit longer. Yeah, I think that's about it. I'm done Friday nights, 9 p.m. Heist Man the Four. I go live, come through, fuck with me, nine o'clock on the Eastern Standard Time over on the West Coast. It might be what three hours later, it might be six o'clock in the afternoon. Man, get off work, take a bath, wash your ass, come through and I let me, man. I'll be smoking my weed, talking my shit about the world and the worldly things that's going on in the world. In the world. In the world, the world, be, 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 be. fuck with your boy, Heist Man the Folk. Talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions. This is a dangerous group, is it? Groups that we're dealing with now. All right. This time, but I'll be back. And sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality. I'll be there.